Burns is going to be the big hometown favorite here tonight. She always brings a posse of people with her. Going to be cornered by her coach, Travis Coleman. Snook in the corner as well. Listen to that pop, guys. This fight will be contested at 135 pounds. Hammer with the pink and white shorts. I'm digging those, man. I like the color scheme a lot. Travis Coleman in the corner in full dress uniform, because obviously being a promoter and trying to be a coach at the same time yes. is fun. Difficult. So fun. Very difficult. <laughs> Travis Coleman in the corner, a legend of the sport. There might be a possible comeback. Whoa. Plot twist. Do you ever really retire? <laughs> no, no, never. Abby Williams making her first appearance in the Coleman kickboxing cage. Trains with Trey Williams and Drake Pope. She's got power in both hands and feet. Seems like she has quite a bit of fans in here behind her. Yes. You see the champion Trey Williams in her corner and also Drake Pope. Both hands are wrapped, ready to get on their own fight card. We're going to have some big fireworks in this one, guys. We are. She has her brother and her boyfriend in her corner. And she's coming out to win. Very composed on the ring wall. Big Amanda Nunes vibes, I'm guessing. Yes. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting as well. Bigger 135er. Digging her shorts as well. They both, both ladies have class. Yes, yes. yes. Style is one thing. <laughs> Get the judges by style. Yeah. We seen blood early. We both know how I like that. As long as it's not on us, I'm not complaining. I'm wearing a white shirt. <laughs> This is Newcastle, Indiana. Referee Scott Huff is our third man in the cage. Listen to this crowd. The people are pumped. Second fight of the night, and the crowd is already going crazy. Amazing. Walking out slow. Very Muay Thai-ish from Gabby. No feeling out process. Both girls are throwing. Big right hand from Gabby. Oh. Trading immediately, Don Fry vibes. Big right hand from Gabby. That's she has some power. That, that is a strong right hand, and she's throwing it with malice intent. Yeah, Amber needs to watch overextending herself when she does that push teeth. She very snappy jab from Gabby. That rear teeth is really working for, for Amber. Another good push teeth to the belly. So the thing about the push teeth is with Gabby being a bigger 135, that could pay dividends in the later rounds. Yeah, absolutely. Now you cannot teeth to joints, so you can't kick to joints, but you could kick to the leg. Oh, 
But it's the right hand again. Amber had a good right hand going, but she took a picture of the punch. She extended it out there and left it out there for herself to get countered. Great inside. Oh, good right hand from Amber. A double right hand, and she's letting them fly. Gabby is hurt, I believe. Punch definitely stunned Gabby. Gabby's also breathing with her mouth open already. Yes. Not a good sign. Tough. Gabby started with a very snappy jab, though. Yeah. Amber has thrown some teeps herself. But nice they, right cross from Burns. Both women have great movement, setting things up. They're not just standing and throwing. They're very technical about this fight. Ooh, big body shot. We have blood coming out of the nose of Gabby Williams. Two back-to-back -back fights with blood. I'm a fan already. That body kick is all day there. Yes, I would I would like to see a little more side-to-side -side movement from, from Amber. Nice cross from Burns again. The one thing I don't like with Burns is she she backs up to come forward. Correct. Heavy teeth. Fighting on the inside. Heavy body shots, yes. too. Those don't feel good. Big looping left hook into a right hand. Amber is working the body, and I, I believe that it's paying dividends. Oh, good counter shot by Gabby. Oh, oh. nice push kick. It's considered a slip, not a knockdown. We're going to go to round two for the first time tonight. Guys, that's a tough round to score. I hate to be the judges ringside. Man. First round, the first ladies fight. It's a barn burner. Yes. He's got blood already. Burns throwing good right crosses. I am liking Gabby's knees to the body, though. Yeah. I see two of them were vicious that round. You take your opponent's body away early. If this fight goes three rounds, who's going to have the cardio left? <laughs> if you're Travis Coleman, Zeke, what are you telling Amber between rounds? Hey, I, I, I want to see you move a little more. I want to see you set up your shots. Cover up the left side of that face so that right hand isn't coming. That's her bread and butter, and she's going to continue to dig at the well. And Cody, Throw some feints in, get her to bite on that. Cody, if you're Gabby, you keep throwing that power shot or just continue to try to get those knees to the body. I, I would say you'd have to continue to need the body. She needs a slower pace down. She's breathing heavy already. But the high output, I mean, she could have won that first round. If she can keep the output up, she could take the fight. For sure. Coaches are coming out. Gonna go to round number two. Those minutes seem fast, but when you're in there, they take forever. Forever. Amber looks more fresh. Who can get their composure back the quickest? One minute between rounds. Round number two. Good switch catch by Gabby. Amber really loading up that right hand before she throws it. I think right oh, stumbled her with a right hand over the top. I think they just went knee to knee a minute ago. Great right way to tie up. That's smart defense on Amber. Yep. Yeah. Gabby's expelling a lot of energy in these exchanges, and her mouth is already open. Yep. I think Burns might be tired as well. The movement hasn't really stopped, but it's starting to slow down just a tad. Oh, another good stop to you. Good body kick from Burns. She, yes. she hit a body kick earlier that yes. studded her microphone. Yeah. You got to set those kicks up. You're kind of just going kick for kick. You got to put your hands into with it. I think for Amber, Gabby keeps her hands a little lower, so I would like to see her mix it up and throw the head kick. I agree. Right oh, there. Good call, good call Zeke. For Zeke. More of that. Now you have your opponent thinking, don't know what's coming next. Absolutely. Amber may have found something that's working. Nice tee from Amber. I think she's going low to set the head kick up again. Absolutely. 
And Gabby's being smart. She has to close that distance and not get that head kick. Great catch. But we don't want to stay and catch. We want to turn her and move. Caleb, in the K-1 rules, is a kick sweep legal? A yeah, kick sweep is legal. I'd like to see Gabby throw a kick sweep on the next leg kick. Leg catch, sorry. Oh, big right hand from Amber Burns. Heavy. Kick for kick. Yeah. Both ladies are going to feel this in the morning. Yes, yes they are. Another good body kick from Amber. Both girls are still moving pretty well. Yeah. Agreed. Combinations are still great. Heavy right hand. Right hand. I think these. I think these ladies can kick all night. I don't see bruising on either leg from either lady. Ten seconds left in round number two. Heavy. Big leg kick from Gabby. Guys, that is, that is a great round of fights right there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Two good rounds. Could have went either way. The crowd is torn between both these ladies. Yes. And, and like you said earlier, Caleb, I would hate to be the judges. I'm glad we're at the announcer's table. To me, I think the two head kicks kind of changed the, the momentum of everything. I think I lead towards Gabby in the first round. I think Amber's got the second round. I think we're 1-1 going into number three. All right, we're in a dog fight. Who's going to step up? Who's going to win the next round? Because it all comes down to this. I think Gabby should turn them leg kicks up. Those are nasty sounding. Yes. I they landed see, clean. I want to see both fighters move off the center line. They're kind of playing rock'em, sock'em robots of going back and forth. But set it up, like, kind of start stepping to my left, or both are right-handed fighters, or even if she switches, go to the jab hand side. Get on the outside, throw that kick. Maybe faint across uh, to the body and bring that kick high. Yeah. Absolutely. Corners are coming out. This is the third and final round tonight. Amber Burns and Gabby Williams. We here case side, we got it 1-1. Whoever wins this round is more than likely going to win the fight. I agree. Okay, I, I don't know if you guys just caught it, but Gabby yes. just took out her right hand. She did. Get her hand checked it out, or it was like she was fumbling with her glove. Yeah, I don't she know. She may be grimacing. I don't know That's if it's hurt. It. Oh, good inside leg kick. It, if I'm in Amber's corner, I'm telling her to mix it up with more than one, two combinations. One, two, three, four, five. Move off the center line. It might be hurt, but she's still throwing that, that right hand, Cody. She is still throwing. Um, I like how Burns isn't throwing just one shot. She's putting combinations in. Yes. Good one, two. Yes. Gabby is game. She came to fight. Nice knee to the body from Burns. It's going to be output now. You Travis can hear Travis lose his voice already. Yep. And he can. He's calling for the head kick in the corner. Hey, you got to set it up. It, Barnes tried to throw it. She didn't get it up there. When, when the later rounds, cardio and fatigue plays a factor, but who wants it more? Nice We're half, body kick halfway through the final round. Got to keep pushing. I think if Burns can keep the output up, she takes a close split. Great sneaky knee. And this is where Gabby could win. In those disengaged exchanges, Amber drops her hands. Push the pace, put it on her, solidify the round. I would like to see Gabby get back to those knees. Yeah. Stop being on the outside, try to work in, land those knees. Oh, big trade. Oh, there's that head kick Travis called for. Gabby is just eating the head kicks and coming forward. Yeah. But the problem is it's scoring points for Amber. Thirty seconds left in the round. Gabby's gonna have to really push the pace and get a knockdown. 
These ladies deserve a standing ovation. Yeah. About a great 10 seconds left in the fight. They're turning it up. Oh, oh. Gabby's pulling it on. Slip. There's Slip. Knockdown. Oh. They're calling that a knockdown. I would need to see a replay on that. That uh, looked. Uh, I agree. And that could have changed the fight right there, guys, if that is a 10-8 round. Man. We'll have to wait and see. But that could be detrimental, like you said. Now, that is the end of the fight. So, the knockdown came in the last few seconds of the fight. Does it change it? It is a 10-8 round. So, it would make it a 10-8 round, but off the last round, I'd say if I, a draw. I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, I I wouldn't be mad at that. I, I think, th I go think ahead, Burns did enough to come away with the win. Uh, I believe she took the first and the third. Uh, but if if it's a 10-8, I think it's a draw. I, I wouldn't be mad at that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would love to see these ladies running back uh, tonight again if they could, but unfortunately, it doesn't Early, early right. contender for <laughs> fight of the night. <laughs> yeah. They came in here and they left it all on the mat, man. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Just get their permission. All right, guys, you're running another three. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would do it if they could. All right, let's go up to Brady L. Davis, who's getting the getting the scoring for the judges, who I I don't envy right now. And we're going to find out who's going home with a victory on this one. Man, what a tough job to do. So, so let's say Gabby loses. What does that do to the headspace of Trey Williams? See, I think it's tough to corner a fighter as you're fighting that night because you listen to Trey and you listen to Drake both yelling in the corner. You don't want to jump your adrenaline now, especially when you're fighting in, let's see, Drake's in two, or yeah, he's in two. <laughs> and Trey's the main event, so that's tough, man. I agree. Back when I was doing that, I refused to corner if I was fighting that night. Man, more power to those guys. They might have a secret sauce. All right, let's Shout go up to Brady Hill Davis and figure this one out. down sealed it in the last couple seconds absolutely absolutely 28 28 you can't be mad at um yeah it's the the last second knockdown i'd have to see it again we'll see it again on replay on livesportscaster.com but you know the last five seconds changed the fight man and it's, it's it's always what the judges see at the beginning and the end of the round and in those last 10 seconds gabby stepped up she 